Wherever you look around you nowadays, people are going online. They're using smartphones and tablets, and increasingly, they're using them for learning. And what I'm interested in is trying to understand how these new directions in teaching and learning are developing. We've produced a series of reports called Innovating Pedagogy, which is identifying the new trends in teaching and learning. Over 20,000 people have viewed the website for the two reports, and many more have downloaded or shared the actual reports. Of these, 64% were from the US, 15% from the UK, and the remainder from other countries. Two years ago, we saw that massive open online courses, MOOCs, were the big innovation in teaching and learning. Now, those have become mainstream. Millions of people are learning with these courses. And where we're looking now is towards how these are developing. I'm academic lead at Future Learn, which has been set up by the Open University to offer free online courses worldwide. It's very apt that the Open University should have set up FutureLearn, as the missions of the two organisations are very similar. They're both dedicated to inspiring lifelong learning, to connecting learners from all over the globe with high quality educators, and to exploring how people learn online. People engage with learning when it's based on powerful media and compelling stories. As an example, the Future Learn Introduction to Ecosystems course developed by the OU gives people an understanding of the natural world and how an ecosystem works. Second, we know people learn best through conversations where they share ideas. So we've connected every bit of content to a stimulating discussion. And thirdly, rather than focusing on dropout from courses, we're exploring ways for people to be rewarded for their progress through a course. Another area of innovation at the Open University is turning spaces like this into outdoor science labs. I'm leading a project at the Open University called Enquire, which is using mobile phones as scientific toolkits. How do you measure the height of that tree? We can use a tilt sensor as a way of calculating that. Another thing we're interested in is are birds being scared away by city centres? We can use the noise sensor on a mobile phone to try and answer that question. It's turning people into scientists so that they can carry out their own experiments and then share them with thousands of people online. Future Learn and Inquire are just two examples of the way in which education is changing radically so that learning is becoming more personal, more interactive, and more social.